So good afternoon, everyone. So we are from Group 4, and we're going to talk about understanding how people choose Starbucks. Next slide. So my name is Kaya Natania, the class 3 digit of NPM is 29, and I'm not alone. I'm with my friend. My name is Zafira Jagadita, with three, three last digit of my NPM is 021. Okay, so let's jump to the presentation. So the first one is consumer behavior. So consumer behavior is the study of consumer choices during searching, evaluating, buying, and using products and services that they believe will satisfy their needs. Consumer behavior explains how people decide to spend their money, time, and effort on the goods that marketers offers to sell and explains which product and brands consumers choose and why, when, and where they buy them. Most marketers now realize that consumers' behavior is actually a continuous process, not just what happens when consumers hand over money or credit cards and in turn receive goods or services. Marketers can satisfy these needs only to the extent that they understand the people or organizations that will use the products and services they sell. Next slide. Next is about marketing concept. So the premise that marketing consists of satisfying consumer needs, creating value, and retaining consumers. And then, and that companies must produce only those goods that they have already determined will satisfy consumer needs and meet organizational goals. So the core principle of the marketing concept maintains that marketers must satisfy consumer needs effectively by making only those products that consumers are likely to buy. Next slide. Okay, so the next one is about technology innovation. So technological advancements that have changed the way consumers behave and the way marketers select and target new clients. Customers can respond to marketers' message instantly through the two-way interactive exchange made possible by electronic communication, such as clicking on a link they receive after viewing an online advertisement. Marketers no longer have to wait for feedback to determine if their promotional message are effective. Instead, they can do so quickly. Technology has also made it possible to create more precise targeting. Advertisers can now personalize their products and advertisement, provide more affordable options and efficient delivery routes, and more easily establish lasting relationships with clients. In addition to expanding and improving their existing products, they can also find it a market for new offerings and collect comprehensive customer data through tracking demographic and lifestyle information offline and online. Next slide. Okay, so the next is about customer satisfaction. A truly happy or satisfied customers tend to stick with the same business and products, recommend them to others, and often become customers for life. Dissatisfied or neutral customers, on the other hand, will quickly move to a competitor or wait to move until another marketer offers what they need. So, Starbucks not only provides coffee, but also an experience with a cozy store atmosphere, appropriate music selection, and the distinctive aroma of coffee. They create a welcoming environment that makes customers comfortable. Next slide will be explained by Zafira. Okay, for the next is about factor influencing on consumer buying behavior at Starbucks. So there are causes of three. The first one is brand awareness. Brand awareness make people prefer Starbucks over other brands when they want to buy coffee. Strong brand awareness can influence consumer decision making at Starbucks. When consumers are faced with many choices, they tend to choose a familiar and trusted brand like Starbucks. And then the second one is quality. Starbucks serves the best coffee made from the finest coffee beans, known for their expect ex expect exceptional taste, aroma, cleanliness, and appearance. The store are cozy. The staff is friendly, and the service is fast. All of these result in exceptional service. When customers feel valued and happy with their experience, they will keep coming back for more. And then the last one is brand loyalty. Starbucks also has a strong loyalty program to the Starbucks Rewards program. This program provides encouragement to customers to purchase Starbucks products by awarding points that can be redeemed for free drinks or food, discount, or other rewards. This program encourages customers 
to return to Starbucks to take advantage of its benefits, which which in turn increase their loyalty to the brand. And then the next is marketing strategy on consumer behavior to purchase Starbucks products. There are causes of three. The first one is powerful branding. Starbucks has created an exclusive, modern, and high-quality brand image. Their logo, green color, and this thing distinctive store design help identify their brand easily. And then the second one is customer experience. With a cozy store atmosphere, appropriate music selection, and a distinctive aroma of kavi, they create a welcome environment that makes customers comfortable. And then the last one is social media. Starbucks act actively uses social media, their website, and mobile apps to market their products. They interact with customer share promotion over special discount and introduce new product to this platform. And then um, there is also direct marketing. This strategy is done, is done by sending short message to customer. Starbucks often send SMS to its customer to offer attractive promos. SMS from Starbucks usually contains discount offers promos or the latest information about Starbucks product and services. And then the next is seasonal promotion. Starbucks often celebrates seasonal festive festivities such as Halloween, Christmas, or summer by offering special drinks or products that suit the theme. And then the next is partnership. Starbucks often works with famous artists or celebrities to design specialty drinks or even to bring out limited collection product inspired by them. And then loyalty program. Starbucks has a loyalty program called Starbucks Rewards where customers can collect points every time they make a purchase and redeem them for free drinks or food. And then here's for the conclusion. Starbucks has effectively built a strong brand image and reputation for quality products and services, promoting brand loyalty among consumers. Marketing strategies such as direct engagement through social media, loyalty programs, innovative partnership, and functional promotion can help maintain consumer interest and loyalty. To further improve consumer purchasing behavior, Starbucks is leveraging new technologies and, and trends in marketing, such as personalized marketing, effort based on consumer preference and behaviors, and new technologies to reach a broader audience. So that's all from our presentation. Thank you for your attention and bye.